Dear Faithful, in this video we offer you the incredible story that surrounds the mysterious third secret of Fatima, one of the most fascinating and debated enigmas in the history of the Church. We will discover the tremendous revelation of a brave priest who had the privilege of reading the original secret without the obscurations and manipulations that kept it hidden for decades. To fully understand the content of this prophecy, we invite you to follow the video in its entirety until the end. Before continuing, we would like to ask you for a detail. If you have not done so already, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell. In this way, you can contribute free of charge to the dissemination of our messages of faith. This is very important for us. Thanks from my heart. The story we are going to talk about refers to Father Giuseppe, an elderly Italian priest residing in a convent in Portugal, a man of extraordinary faith, devout and completely dedicated to the service of God and those less fortunate. He was also a passionate student of Marian apparitions, with special interest in those that occurred at Fatima in 1917. Surely you know that in Fatima, three young shepherds, Lucia, Francisco, and Giacinta, claimed to have had the grace of seeing Our Lady six times between May 13th and October 13th, 1917. Our Lady urged them to pray the Holy Rosary for peace in the world and the conversion of sinners. During the third apparition, on July 13th, Our Lady revealed to the three visionaries three secrets about the future of the Church and humanity. The first secret was a vision of hell, where one could glimpse the souls of the damned suffering atrocious torments. The second secret was a prophecy of the end of World War I and the beginning of World War II, unless humanity reformed. The third secret, however, was the most mysterious and disturbing. Our Lady asked the little shepherds not to divulge the third secret to anyone, but to write it on a piece of paper and give it to the Bishop of Liria with the instruction to open it only in 1960. The visionaries conformed to the will of the Virgin. Francesco and Giacinta died shortly after the apparitions due to the Spanish pandemic, while Lucia entered a convent and lived until 2005. In 1944, Lucia wrote the third secret on a paper that she gave to the Bishop of Leiria, who sent it to the Vatican. From that moment on, an enigmatic mystery spread the third secret was never made public in 1960, as Our Lady had requested. Instead, it was hidden for more than 40 years. Only a few popes and cardinals had access to the document, but no one ever revealed its contents. It was not until 2000 that the Vatican finally announced the publication of the third secret. It represented a vision in which an angel, with a sword of fire, threatened to destroy the world but was stopped by the voice of God, urging penitence. Furthermore, a pope was seen murdered by soldiers while walking through a ruined city, along with other bishops, priests, and faithful. The Vatican interpreted this vision as a prophecy of the attack against Pope John Paul II in 1981, carried out by the Turkish terrorist Ali Agchia. The pope himself declared that he considered his attack the realization of the third secret and attributed his salvation to the Virgin. However, many people did not accept this official version. Suspicion arose that the Vatican had hidden and distorted part of the third secret to avoid scandals and unrest in the Church. Some believed that the third secret contained revelations about the crisis of faith, the corruption of the clergy, and the apocalypse. Among them was Father Giuseppe. This priest was convinced that the Vatican had lied and that the third secret hid a much more serious and significant meaning than admitted. Therefore, he ventured on a bold and dangerous mission, trying to read the true third secret, the original, written by Lucia in 1944. Father Giuseppe was aware that the original sheet was preserved in the secret archives of the Vatican, accessible only to a few. However, he had an ace up his sleeve, a close friendship with a cardinal who worked in the Secretariat of State, the department responsible for the Church's diplomatic affairs. Father Giuseppe deeply trusted this cardinal who shared with him the desire to read the Third Secret. Surprisingly, the cardinal shared the priest's concerns and agreed to help him. 
He obtained false permission to access the secret files and provided him with precise instructions on where to find the original sheet. However, he warned him of the risks. If he was discovered, he would risk being excommunicated or even something much worse. Father Giuseppe was not intimidated. He was determined to discover the truth, regardless of the consequences. In one night, he infiltrated the Vatican's secret archives with a fake permit and a flashlight. With the key provided by the cardinal, he opened the door, entered the room and looked around. Shelves full of books, envelopes and papers filled his view. He followed the cardinal's instructions and arrived at an armored room that housed the most important and confidential documents of the church. Determined to find the original sheet of the third secret of Fatima, Father Giuseppe began his search. After several minutes, he finally saw it. It was a sheet of paper yellowed by time, inside an envelope sealed with the papal seal and the inscription, Third Secret of Fatima, which will not be opened until 1960. Without hesitation, he tore the envelope and took out the paper. In it, a single sentence written in Portuguese, in Lucia's handwriting. Father Giuseppe read that sentence and was amazed. The phrase said, In Portugal, the dogma of faith will always be preserved. However, he realized that that sentence was incomplete. In fact, Lucia had added, I can't say this, and then continued with the rest of the secret on another sheet of paper. But what could be the meaning of that phrase? Why was it so relevant? And why had it been hidden from the world? Father Giuseppe immediately understood the importance of that revelation. It was a prophecy about the loss of the dogma of faith within the church, with the exception of Portugal. This prophecy revealed a great apostasy, a vast rebellion against God and His law, in which numerous members of the clergy and ecclesiastical hierarchy also participated. It was a terrible prophecy, which explained why the Vatican had decided to keep it hidden. Its revelation would have unleashed an unprecedented crisis in the Church, calling into question the authority of the Pope and the bishops, causing divisions and scandals among the faithful. Father Giuseppe was shocked by the revelation. He realized that Our Lady had wanted to warn the Church and humanity of the grave danger that loomed over them. He understood that the third secret represented a call to conversion, penance, and prayer. But he also realized how that message had been ignored and betrayed by those who should have conveyed it to the world. He realized that the church needed to be purified and reformed. He understood that it was his duty to make the truth known, even at the cost of being persecuted or killed. Father Giuseppe was not afraid. He put the paper back in the envelope and hid it under his cassock. He left the vault and the secret archives without being discovered. She returned to her convent in Portugal and prepared to make her terrible revelation. A short time later, Father Giuseppe decided to go to the nearest church and ask to speak with the priest. He explained that he had something vital to communicate and he wanted to do it in front of all the faithful. The priest accepted and invited him to go up to the pulpit during Mass. Father Giuseppe, standing on the pulpit, addressed the numerous faithful. He began to tell his extraordinary experience, what he had read in the full text of the third secret of Fatima. Speaking with courage and sincerity, without any shadow of secrecy, the people listened with amazement and disbelief. Some were fascinated and moved by his words. Others accused him of being a liar and heretic, while others were scared and questioned the veracity of what he said. Father Giuseppe concluded his speech with a call to conversion, penance, and prayer. He said there was still time to return to God and His law before it was too late. He emphasized that Our Lady loved us and desired our salvation, but that it was up to us to accept or reject her message. Then he came down from the pulpit and gave the priest the envelope that contained the original sheet of the third secret. He asked him to take advantage of it, and spread it as widely as possible. He added that he had nothing more to hide or fear. Father Giuseppe left the church and walked away into the crowd. He didn't know what his revelation would bring. Maybe the Vatican would have arrested him or killed him, or the world would have listened and ignored him. It could cause a revolution or persecution in the church. 
But even though he was afraid, none of that mattered to him. He had fulfilled his duty, he had obeyed the Virgin, he had told the truth. He offered himself completely to the will of the Lord. This is the extraordinary story of Father Giuseppe, the brave priest who read and revealed the third secret of Fatima intact for the first time. An incredible but authentic story, potentially destined to change the destiny of the Church and humanity. Dear Faithful, let us always pray with faith and love to Our Lady, strong and sincere guide for our salvation. God bless us. Amen.